So Kendrick Lamar, he had to shut down, kind of stop his <laughs> show, and possibly school a white fan after she said the N-word while on stage with him at his concert in Alabama. And it has kind of reignited this old but never dying discussion and debate on whether black people should be able to say the N-word if white people are not allowed to say it. So what happened, he brings fans on stage and it's kind of a test, I think, of how good of a fan you are, how well you know his song. So we right. had this woman up there, Delaney, in Alabama. Delaney. <laughs> Delaney says the N-word Multiple times. Even Three if you're not times. white, if your name's Delaney, yes. you become white. Confidently. And Literally. then, so he stops her, and she, there was a weird moment where she didn't even get it. She was like, what, am I not cool enough for you, bro? And he's like, oh, no, gosh. you just need to believe. This is it happening. You just need to believe one word. And first she's like, wait, did I say it? And he's like, yeah, you said it. And then she kind of changes her position and says, well, no, I only said it because I'm used to singing it the way you write it. It's basically your fault, Kendrick. Yeah. And, and it's so, so bad. it's a trap. Right, so then he gives her I mean, another not, chance and she doesn't say the N word this time, but she flubs <laughs> the rest of the lyrics. So he shuts her down. I mean, uh, and and she also, yeah. they lost the audience at that point. Oh yeah, because as soon as she started saying it, the audience they started booing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there then, were two other people up there who didn't say the N word. The guy before <laughs> her <laughs> yes. crushed it. I don't know if you guys saw him. He, I, I forget <laughs> his name, but he has he has a Twitter. Um, I think he was this Indian guy, and he crushed it. Didn't say the N-word, right. bleeped it mm -hmm. out. The crowd loved it. Obviously, Kendrick loved it because he didn't kick him off the stage. Um, but if, if we were going to do five words for this, mine was going to be ignorance is not always bliss. Yeah. Um, how do you not know that you can't say that? You cannot follow the <laughs> arguably the most conscious rapper of your generation. Exactly. And it's think Kendrick that you Lamar. should stand up on stage with him and say the N-word. How dare you? cannot. You, you don't, you're not a fan at all if you think that's appropriate. Yeah, and the fact that she was like, oh, bro, am I not cool enough? Did I say it? Did I say it, bro? The yeah. fact that she didn't even realize that that was happening? So, oh, man. Okay, so it's my rough. question is that we all read this article in Uncle preparation Brady. for this. Written uh, by a black man, which yes. should be noted. Yes, that and was basically saying that, okay, if you, if, if, uh, certain if, if everyone's consuming rap music, then but the, but certain people have to consume it in different ways. Then we need to change the lyrics that are used specifically pointing to the N word. That that should no longer be used, and that some of Kendrick's right. best work, like Humble, would not have been changed if there was the omission of the N word. So to that, Do you what is think the, what you that rappers think? aren't thinking about that when I they write their lyrics? <laughs> Do you think that anyone is like? Oh, there's a decision to be made over yeah. whether or not to use this word given its historical significance. No, I think yeah. I think e so everyone. It was such Will, a Will Smith doesn't have to cuss in his raps to sell records, but Eminem does. Like, it's there's wrong. all kinds of decisions you make as a yeah. as an artist as to what you're, what language you're going to use, especially in such a language-driven art form, of course people are thinking about this and make that choice. Let me tell you that my favorite documentary of all time is Paris is Burning, and there are a lot of pieces in that that I, as a straight woman, I don't have a problem that I can't speak, I can't quote the entire right. movie from beginning to end. I have no problem. There are things that you say about yourself that I, I don't feel jealous that I can't call you that or that it's not, like, come on, it's like, get over yourself. It's one word. You're literally at the front of the line. Right. Yeah. The, <laughs> every other yeah, yeah, yeah. aspect. That's why are you trying to be at the back so bad? <laughs> and like, why yeah. do you think you're in charge of making those decisions? That's what I think. I, I don't think it's you're in charge It's not fair to put it on black people. Like, I think mm -hmm. in the article pointed out, there was a moment where, it was are black people possibly to blame oh for the harm so that the ridiculous. word still continues yeah. to have? And it was disappointing because no.